Hello GDQ staff, my name is Ellie Jelly, and this is my submission for VeggieTales, Minnesota Cuke, and the Coconut Apes. This is a 2D platformer that came out in 2004 for the PC, and I've started running this game back in April of 2020. I helped build a small community around this game, and I'm excited to show you the fruits of our efforts throughout the past four years. So, we're just gonna go ahead and get started here. Set the file name, GDQ Run, and we'll go... Uh, so, the time starts a little bit into the game, but I figure we can go ahead and do the countdown here, because this is more succinct of a countdown place, because, like, you're clicking on something. So, we're going to go ahead and count down. Three, two, one, go. It, and just this little cutscene plays out. The fabled croc of Hookie Baluki. But yeah, this is Minnesota Cuke. Uh, so just some basic movement explanation. Pure fundamentals. We want to be jumping as much as possible. Our walking speed is pretty slow, so we want to be able to maintain as much air time as we can. However, the game also has a mechanic where you latch onto any slim platforms that you're close enough to, and latching onto a platform kills all your momentum. There are times where we want to latch onto platforms, but our main... Oh, I tapped out by mistake. My bad. Our main focus is keeping in the air as much as we can. So, we'll just do some basic platforming here. Another small thing I should mention. Uh, if you bounce on an enemy's head, and uh, you won't be able to latch onto any platforms after that. So, sometimes we can use that to face through platforms and... Make it a bit of an easier time. But relatively speaking, it's not that bad. Like that. We can just bounce up there like there. And that is the first level of the jungle. So. I figure it's probably a good idea to go over this game's level structure. Uh, so we have five levels. Um, in each level, we have le three little areas. Uh, and they're just labeled one, two, and three. Nothing super fancy. Um... And another thing I should need to go over, items. Items. Uh, every level has a unique item that can be picked up and used in that level only. Uh, most, probably the strongest item we get out of, out of all the, in all the levels is the one we have here, the bananas. The bananas, they're really good because you can just throw a bunch of them and they'll stun any monkey that they come into contact with. So that just makes dealing with monkeys in the first level a non-issue. Which is really convenient, because even though when you get into those resets. So, yeah, it's just some more. This is probably a good idea, time to bring up what got me into this game in the first place. Well... It was a game I played as a kid, and so obviously there are a lot of childhood memories here, but I got back into it, and it had a surprisingly fun run. It wasn't super long. World record was back at around 30... 30 no, it was a 2601 when I started playing. That's what it was. Well, I've never died there before. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not stressed about it. So we're just getting to the end of the jungle world here. <laughs> and we'll see a crashed plane. And we search that crashed plane. And what we end up find finding is... Uh, well, what we end up not finding is the croc of Ukubaluki. Realize that it's been stolen from the plane. And our new quest, we need to find... Once again, find the croc of Ukubaluki. Oh, right. I just realized I haven't explained this game. I haven't explained this game's plot. While in that beginning cutscene, uh, we were flying home from an adventure and we had recovered the croc of Hookie Baluki. And uh, Larry was on a Zoom call with Bob and uh, he got he got distracted by while he was making goulash in the crot of pot croc of Hookie Baluki. 
and ended up crashing the plane. And that's how we ended up here in the first place. Yeah, it's a very silly concept for a game. But it works well for what the game's trying to be, all things considered. Got a precise jump to make here. But yeah, uh, this is just the P Village. It's probably my second favorite level in the game. Uh, I'll leave what my favorite level is as, as a surprise. But it's one of the later levels. It's it's definitely not jungle. Uh, the item here, it's the Huke Shield. We never pick it up, but it's basically just an invincibility power up. Not nothing special. So yeah, uh, P Village Two is probably the easiest of the three if I had to pick one. Right. So I'm just going to head up here. Right. That, that was a bit of a tight jump there. But I, I have confidence in myself and being able to... Oh, I accidentally picked up the shield. That's cool, I guess. And we just have this long auto scroller section here with the bear with the bu buckets. So this would probably be a good time for donations near the end of the level. Yeah, it's not the most co complex thing in the end of the world, but this is still my second favorite level. I'd confidently say. Okay, that's a place I haven't died before. Oh, one other thing I should probably mention. What's with the SPS counter? Uh, it's just kind of bouncing all over screen. That's because um, we are running this game on um, DXWND. It's a software that lets us um, essentially just... It, it lets us put a window in, in games that previously would only launch in full screen. Just makes it a lot more accessible for like Windows 10 and 11 because trying to run this game on full screen on Windows 10 and 11 is genuinely obnoxious, and I'd argue it makes the game unplayable. There were a lot of issues in the early days of our boards where we weren't exactly certain about about stuff. This is Bob. Hi. Nope. Okay, that that's fine. We want to click out. We want to ex exit out from the menu. Tab back in. So this is the river. Uh, the item here is the, the bubble gum. And we want to avoid using this item. Because something I haven't said about items yet is that... Uh, they remove your ability to do the lasso attack that we, you've we, I've, you've seen me do uh, just to kill that lets me knock out some take out some monkeys. So we want to avoid the the gum because it's really not useful at all. And even if it was, our lasso is just strictly better. In terms of guaranteeing safety from enemies. Like, like that. We take out that guy right there. Makes it easier to just pass through. Yeah. So... Something I haven't mentioned thus far. Uh, I think Veggie Tales. So it's like, why get into like Veggie Tales of all things? Because, but I th I think I think this Veggie Tales kind of has like a hidden popularity. Like this show was huge back in its day. Like. 
second only to Pokemon in terms of viewership, which is absolutely nothing to sneeze at. But I feel like a fair amount of people just don't talk about VeggieTales anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but also perfectly understandable. That being said, part of the only reason I play this game is because it's a VeggieTales platformer, and I think it's kind of silly. And it just kind of has that charm. It, kind of, it, it really does have that charm to it. And, like... Like, I'm anticipating that this this would probably be, like, a silly block game just because VeggieTales and, like, it's not the best game. But I, I'm not personally suggesting it goes for silly block, but I understand if you, if you guys would want to put it there. Oh, yeah, apologies if I go quiet. I just really need to focus on some of these sections. It's somewhat precise, but also not really. Alright. That was cave. No, that was river. And now we're in cave. I'll be frank and say that Cave is probably my least favorite level in the game, but I don't think it's, like, bad by any means. It's just... It feels... Out of all the levels, it definitely feels, like, the most cramped. Which is... I, I understand that it's a cave and, like, it, caves are, like, cramped and whatnot, but, like, this is silly cuke platformer. It doesn't need to be, like, an accurate depiction of what caves are like. Still an okay level to play through, though. It's just not my cup of tea. And there are some harder parts, so I'll probably be going a bit quieter. Probably a good time for some more donations. I'll make sure to be, like, open and apparent if there's any, like, downer parts where, like, people or, like, donations would be a, a good suggestion. But, yeah, I one other thing. I, I think, like... Donating and maybe people have talking about like Veggie Tales in the donations. That could be a thing that people talk about. I, I'm I'm honestly not really certain. I'm just I, I'm trying to think about this run as both like a speed run and like a live show of, uh, event because that's what. When you really break it down, that's what that's just what GDQ is. It's a, just a live show, and you have to be prepared for those kinds of things. I'm kind of just talking to myself at this point. But yeah, uh, Caves 3. It's just, that is the level which we're at right now. All of the cave levels just kind of blend together. Honestly, that's something that could be said about the entire game, about how the three distinct levels, they don't do enough to make them distinct. I, I, I'd say that, but it's not like a career-ending criticism. It's just... I, I have my nitpicks, but I'll... But I'll I'll do my best to like primarily focus on the entertainment value of of the run, you know. I'm just excited for the chance to be able to show this off in a, at a larger scale. And I don't, I don't think this run can PB, but it's still, it's, it's an, this is a decent run. 
all things considered. You know, I, 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 I never really do done like a live commentary on runes before. I just kind of talk about whatever in the mood to talk about. But now I have to focus on specifically what I'm talking about because I'm specifically making something that's going to be curated and like judged and paneled and whatnot. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe I'm just... I might just be in my head about this. But I'm not super worried about it. But yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. This is my favorite level. But it's also easily the hardest. Because there, there are some... Stuff like that. The precise grappling hook jumps. Really satisfying to land. But still really annoying to do. If you don't, if you haven't like properly timed the grapple hooks to the face, I'm probably gonna stay quiet for the rest of this, just cause this is a difficult segment. Okay, that's fine. So super sonic to the point of no return. Got a super sonic racing. Come on, let the fire burn. Everybody. Everybody super sonic racing and they keep your feet right off the ground when you're super sonic racing there's no time to look around when you're super sonic racing and to the point of no return body super sonic racing come on let the fire burn no. There's no have to go near the place and you can feel my heart is grace Supersonic racing Everybody supersonic racing and you keep your feet right off the ground when you're supersonic racing so time to look around with your super sonic racing to the point of no return everybody super sonic racing come on let's all right this is the final level this is jimmy and he is the leader of the coconut apes and he challenges us to a climbing competition as a means of winning back the crocopookie blookie it's a pretty short segment definitely nothing we can't manage i just okay this can steal sub 18 yeah, easily. Wow. All right. This is a 17 of 51. All right. So that is Minnesota Cube from the Coconut Apes. Thank you for watching this run. I appreciate you for checking this out. Um, and I hope that I get the opportunity to share this live at GDQ tw at, at AGDQ 2023 in Minneapolis this year. Thank you.